Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex Collier. I want to thank you all very much for coming. This is a very, very special treat for me. I love these small, intimate settings here, these living room type of things, um, because I'm, I'm very comfortable, and when I'm definitely in my element, I like to talk, okay? And I'm definitely in the mood for a talk fest, as they used to say. Um, the information that I shared this morning, I'm going to go over again briefly, because I went through it so quickly, and some of you weren't there. Uh, but essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the 22 races. And the book that will be ready this spring is going to be called Defending Sacred Ground 2 ET22. Okay? I've been wanting to do this, this book for 10 years, and now it's time to do it. Um, and the reason it's time is that there's so much going on in our solar system that we all need a scorecard. And I just hope to be able to uh, share the knowledge that's been shared with me as to who these beings are um, and how they relate specifically to Earth, to us. In a nutshell, we are a composite of a lot of different races, 22 to be exact. It is a physiological fact that there are 22 different body types on the planet. Um, and. That is the result of the extraterrestrial races. I cannot share everything that I have in two hours because I am sharing the stage tonight with Mike Russ. But I will be around, okay? I'm definitely going to be available. And the information uh, in, the, in the every couple of weeks, you check the website, the information is going to be put on the website. Okay, so you will have it as soon as it's done and it's proofed and edited. All right? Um, there will be a hardcover or a bound book version of that, but by then you will already have the information. If it's something that you wanted to purchase at that point to give to friends, it'll be available, okay? But it will be for free, nonetheless. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into how it all started for me. Uh, for 13 years, I've been telling that story, and I refuse to tell that story anymore. Okay? If you want to know, you can go to the website, www.lettersfromandromeda.com, and all the information is there, including book one, which you can download for free. I'm doing that for the video, pretty much. Okay. Now, Earth history, we are taught a very, very shallow version of Earth history. Uh, we are also taught that... We evolved from a single cell that essentially we were an accident. Okay, all of us are just an accident. And something happened, something really weird, but yet something miraculous happened to a couple of chimpanzees. And ta-da, here we are. Okay? Should it be so simple? In fact, I like the, the real version much better <laughs> than the concocted version. Okay? Um, and so what we're going to talk about, what I'm going to start with, is I'm going to I'm going to start with some of the earth taught timelines of history and I'm going to um, blow through specific periods and just move it through to prove a point this will be much more specific um, in the book okay earth formation we're going to start with a precambrian time 4.5 billion years ago to 554 million years ago earth taught history the Earth is forming, along with other planets in the solar system. Earth is being born. Life is awakening. The first tectonic plates are beginning to move. Fungus, plants, animals, and organisms are developing, and the atmosphere is becoming enriched with oxygen. Okay. Extraterrestrial taught history, or I should say Andromedan taught history. An ancient race known as the Founders, who the, Plea who the um, Andromedans and the Pleiadians believe is an ancient race called the Patal. That's P-A-A-T-A-L. Is on an engineering program whereby environments of planets and terraforming is being done. They are um, doing this to make 
make these planets and, and star solar systems suitable and habitable for organisms and for life. Rendering ecosystems that are filled with hydrogen, oxygen, methane, and ammonia. Okay, now take a uh, uh, ecosystems, one being oxygen, or some being oxygen, some being methane, some being ammonia, and some being hydrogen. Now these are all gases. <clears throat> For the introduction and colonization of microorganisms, nanites, and all types of life forms. Self-replicating machinery and the bombardment by comets and planetoids to change the rotation and the chemistry of the planets. We'll get to the self-replicating machinery here in a little bit. The practice and engineering of removing moons to alter a planet's rotation and moving planets closer and further from their suns to either decrease or increase radiation received by the planets. Now I want you to know that that specific engineering feat of moving planets closer and further away from the sun, moving moons, adding moons, is a practice that is absolutely in full swing today throughout the galaxy and in other galaxies. Okay, It is, it is solar system building. This happens a lot. There are races, even the Andromedans, are capable of creating a solar system. Okay. <clears throat> All projects, it, it appears, were designed to render many star systems and many planetary bodies habitable for organic life. Small machines have been discovered that were built so long ago that no one really knows for sure who built them. They cannot be replicated and no one knows exactly how they were built. Now, I'll give you an example of the Andromedans. The Andromedans are approximately 45, 43 to 4500 years more advanced than we are technologically. Now that's in our years, all right? Now in our years, in our years here, I need more leash. <laughs> okay, a year for us equals 365 days. Okay, this is one rotation around our sun. The Andromedans count years in a completely different way. In fact, almost all the extraterrestrials do. In their, their concept of age, of counting, especially in this way, what they consider a year is when every cell in their body has been fully duplicated, replicated. Now if we did that, one year would be equal to seven years in our body. Okay, so it takes approximately thirty-four years for their bodies in our time to replicate every cell in their body in our time. Okay? So it's hard to give you exact dates of when they say something happened to 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 put it into our our timeline okay of, of years okay because in reality if i say it it was 4000 years ago then it, it it's it's a lot longer than that okay but they've had a very hard time explaining to me exactly in our earth time because they don't deal with the concept of time you know they just don't all right so but i'm giving you these numbers in earth years